Hey guys, Don Jr. here. Let's talk for a second about Nancy Pelosi's second sham impeachment. Um, I'm sort of curious. It was sort of interesting to watch the Washington Post, you know, the Jeff Bezos owned uh, propaganda arm of the left uh, that hasn't written a good article about Donald Trump in five years, uh, you know, just so we're clear that this is not some sort of center or maybe only slightly left-leaning. I mean, this is full-on commie propaganda, uh, you know, in, in newspaper format owned by Amazon. Um, they wrote an article, amazingly enough, because it, it came from them, which is surprising that they'd even write this, even if it was true. I mean, you just sort of don't write the truth when you're one of these leftist magazines or newspapers. You don't write the truth uh, if it benefits Trump. You just ignore it, which is what they usually do. But they wrote the day after Nancy Pelosi's check and impeachment that the FBI was looking at people who had been planning the disgusting attacks on Washington, D.C. for one week, one week prior to the events. Huh. Interesting. If the events were planned for one week prior, how is it that Donald Trump could have incited violence that day? How could he be impeached for inciting violence that was planned for a week prior to the attack. Notice, by the way, that the events were planned on social media platforms. Not Parler, which was, you know, thrown off the App Store and then more importantly thrown off Amazon Web Services. Big surprise here. Uh, thrown off Amazon Web Services. Uh, see the link there, folks? You think that's a coincidence that that information came out a day after Nancy Pelosi's impeachment? Do you think that maybe... These people knew about that, but they allowed it to happen. Do you think maybe that's why Nancy Pelosi rushed the impeachment so quickly? No witnesses, no testimony, no ability to defend yourself. I mean, this is some kangaroo court stuff here, guys. This is stuff that we'd see out of Russia at best. Uh, I think even they would blush uh, at the insanity of this one. But think about that. You think that maybe Nancy Pelosi rushed this through because they knew that was the case, but they couldn't come up with their fake impeachment if it wasn't the case? Uh, when you look at all the people, you know, doing their, you know, nonsense cancellation and everything like that these days, you, you think maybe they'd like to know that information? Probably doesn't matter. Again, it, they'll do whatever gets them a headline um, these days. But think about that for a second, folks. The entire second impeachment was based on a lie. Because you can't incite something at point in time X if, in fact, it was planned the week prior to it. It doesn't work that way. But again, it explains why Nancy Pelosi rushed it through. It explains why the Democrats pushed it through. It explains why it was the fastest ever and why there was no process and why there was no testimony and why no one was able to defend themselves because they knew it was nonsense, but they had to get their political scalps. That's how it works in D.C., folks. Uh, they knew that they'd get a couple of the weak Republicans. You saw 10 of them. They'd get a couple of those guys to go along, uh, get their sound bites, glorify those guys for about two minutes till they say something conservative again, then they'll go after them. That's why we got to, you know, make, make sure we don't elect weaklings uh, who will just fold uh, under this sort of nonsense pressure because the entire impeachment was based on a lie. They created a lie. The media ran with the lie. And then when the FBI, exact, you know, the leadership at the FBI, not exactly Trump fans. I think the door kickers like us a lot. Uh, leadership, not exactly fans. And even they were like, oh, the stuff was planned for a week prior. Ironically, again, not on Parler, which was the one that was thrown off because that was conservative leaning, uh, but on other social platforms. So think about it, guys. We went through a second sham impeachment. We went through second nonsense, all based on a lie, just like the first one was based on a lie. Just like the first one, they impeached Donald Trump for being right about Joe Biden and his corruption in the Ukraine. I mean, think about that. That's all it was. The first impeachment, they impeached Donald Trump for being right about Joe Biden. Now we know that. And now we know they went through another impeachment based on a lie. They rushed it through so they would not have the information. And they probably had it anyway, because I have a feeling everyone knew exactly what was going on. But, uh... They rushed it through so they could get some political scalps. They knew it was pre-planned, but that wasn't what they tried to impeach him for. This is what we've been dealing with for five years, folks. This is the stuff they've been trying to do with my father for five years. That's why his record of accomplishment is so incredible. 
because he got it done despite zero help from the Democrats, despite nothing but attacks. And that's why he will always go down as my greatest president. Thank you, guys.